Awesome. So, uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for uh, being here tonight. Uh, tonight, we will be talking about business society and everything in between. And I guess the first thing to start out with is the SoFair IMBA program. Uh, we are 55 students from 21 different countries. We boast an international faculty. Most recently, we had uh, two professors from Germany. We've had them from California, um, from France, from all over the world come to teach us. And we have a parallel curriculum, which means that in addition to our academic courses, we also have development workshops and interest speakers coming to help us uh, identify what our next steps will be in our careers. And before we get into the crux of our discussion today, we kind of wanted to start off talking about corporate responsibility. And just to take you a little bit further back on where it comes from, so the word company, which most people use for business today, actually is derived from two Latin words. Uh, the first word is cum, and the second one is panis, which together means breaking bread together. So actually, business company is really a communal ideology that was started. And corporate responsibility as a whole really came together from the considering the interests of customers, employees, shareholders, and communities, as well as many other, others, beyond the corporation's obligation to comply with legislation. So corporate responsibility is something that we've been talking about, and people have been talking about for years. There's articles and research that says it goes all the way back to the Tanakh, to the Bible, to the beginning, and up until today where it's become a much more a hotter issue to discuss. And corporate responsibility, one of the key moments that we talk about is that it's good for business. It, it's all about the bottom line, because business is all about long-term profitability as we continue to learn in school, and corporate responsibility enhances that type of long-term profitability. And another aspect is the responsibility, or what is the responsibility of business schools to teach corporate responsibility? How should we relate to our stakeholders throughout? And I guess this is a great picture of what corporate responsibility entails. It entails business ethics, which is a big one up here. It uh, profit down here, also a quite large one. It's got diversity, strategic plan for me. But the key that it is not, and what people have this misconception about, is it's not just going out and working for NGOs, for nonprofits. It's about taking the business in the world that we live in, whether it's in high tech, whether it's in printing, whether it's in a sports team, it's, it's building that and, and analyzing what is important to your stakeholders, and then identifying the needs of your community, and enhancing your business, the entire process, the entire value chain, and enabling it to benefit the community as a whole. As we said, because that's where the, the company comes from. Uh, hello, everyone. I was just wondering, who's going to be studying here still next year? Who will still be around? So this actually would be quite relevant to you. Um, I'm going to be telling you a little bit about MBA Cares, this initiative uh, that we started about a year ago. Uh, this is over here, the mission, the mission is student aid, student motivated initiative, which is to aim and implement the societal values of the international and Israeli students in our program. Um, it started in August 2009, Usher Harry, who's sitting in the back of the room over there. Um, we started this actually about a year ago. Um, Joe here is one of the project managers for the group. Uh, what happened was we were thinking about starting an extracurricular uh, sort of group aside from the curriculum in our program to implement corporate responsibility, societal values, social action, and those were really higher in our priorities. Um, so we came up with MBA Cares. We met with Globes Magazine, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with. Uh, they have a competition every year where they decide on four social entrepreneurial uh, nonprofit organizations, or in, in Hebrew you call it Amutot. Um, and we partnered with these four Amutot. We created teams for 16 students in our program, and every team has a project manager. Dov is one of them. Dov is going to tell you a little bit about, about his experience working with one of the Amutot, who is called Shiro Rachel. Um, so, Shiro Rachel essentially is an organization that brings in business professionals from all different walks of, of life uh, to low income schools. And in the schools, uh, they teach a session or two, depending on where they are, uh, about their, uh, I guess, their profession. And it's an interactive session that enables the children in these areas to kind of identify, find new role models, find opportunities that they might not have otherwise found out. They might, and then they go on visits. So they might go to the emergency room or they'll go to the Supreme Court. Or they'll go visit these institutions that they might only hear about on TV, but they don't have a chance to learn about and see on a daily basis. And so our project, which myself and I have three other members, is helping them get their message out. They've got a tremendous stronghold. Shiro Fair has 1,600 volunteers. They work with 123 schools around the country. 
they've already reached over 5,000 children, and they touch on all these different areas of topics. So what could be so difficult for them? They have an amazing message. Their biggest problem is that people might not necessarily know that they're volunteering with them. So, or they might not, the, the people in the community, you might not realize that, well, Shiro Affair is an organization that you can volunteer with. A few weeks ago, there was an article in Haaretz about the organization, but I'm not sure that many people read that, saw that, and getting, getting their message across and identifying more volunteers and more people. So part of what we're doing is helping them communicate their message stronger and identify new volunteers, and of course, because it is a nonprofit, helping them find new ways to raise money, helping them find individual donors, raising the final number, the bottom line, because just as, as in a business, you need to be aware of your long-term profitability, Shiro Affair, in order to survive, needs money. And so we're taking the lessons that we've learned in school and are applying it to the organization. Okay, so here's the list of the four of the talks that we are working with this year. Um, we need Madre Bad to a fact of this mansion and Shakuoko. Um, another component of the MBA Cares program is the MBA Cares Day. It's a very exciting day. Um, basically, as we mentioned, we have these three projects, but it was also very important for us to get the other 55 students in our program involved. Um, with community uh, service, with corporate responsibility, it was also a high priority for us. So we decided to put together a day where we'd actually go out, you know, in action, actually make, try to make a difference, learn about corporate responsibility, and uh, do it with class. So this year we went to Save a Child's Heart. Uh, Save a Child's Heart, if you haven't heard of it, is a NGO. Uh, they bring children from developing countries to do heart surgeries for them in Israel. 45% of the children come from Africa, 43% from Iraq, Jordan, the Palestinian Authority, and the rest come from Haiti and Russia and all over the world. As a class, we went and volunteered there. We did hands-on work with the children and with the mothers. It's a great opportunity. Uh, Forzan Hussein, uh, he's the president of the YMCA in Jerusalem, who came to talk to the class about his personal and professional development, as well as issues related to coexistence and corporate responsibility. We're planning another MBA Paris Day for this May, and we're really looking forward to it. In terms of user considerations, um, next year we hope to actually partner with different corporate entities. Uh, this year, as we said, we work with them. We thought next year, as Doug mentioned earlier, it's important. You know, corporate responsibility is good for business. So we hope to continue work with NGOs and work with corporate entities as well. In addition, uh, have concrete projects. We started working on this in August last year. Um, hopefully, next year they'll be working on it earlier on. Uh, we're already seeking uh, people to lead the project for next year, and we'll be creating a report at the end of this year to help them through the process. <coughs> Lastly, raising awareness on campus and in the community. Um, we think the corporate responsibility is very important. We hope that Recanati will take it seriously and consider putting it as part, integrating it into their curriculum. Um, seeing, it, seeing more information in seminars on campus, uh, more awareness events, <coughs> promotion materials, concerts, and so forth. Um, so we plan on being part of that. And I want to thank uh, TEDx for having us, all the faculty and students who are involved in organizing today. I really enjoyed it myself. So